Well, it's been a remarkable year for, for the number of applications. We had 798 applications come in, which is higher than over the last few years by almost 100. From those 800 this year, we will pick, as I said earlier, 150 to interview. And it is the most interesting and the hardest part of the job for us because we tend to fall in love with every applicant. And the fact that you can't interview them all and you can't fund them all is, is always a strain. If you wander through our office today, you will see there are about eight people in here that have come in. They're um, all Hertz Fellows or volunteers that have known the Hertz Foundation for a long time, who go through the process of going through these very, very detailed applications, which require us to read an essay by the student, a research report by the student, the student's transcripts, and four letters of reference from the um, um, professors the student will have had. And do we see signs of creativity? Do we see signs of um, leadership? Uh, do we see signs of um, uh, the ability to influence people because, and to collaborate across lines. So we're, we're looking for not just grade point averages and, uh, and scores on standardized tests, but what do the letters of reference, what does the student's essay tell us about their attitude towards science and their ability to work with and influence other people? Well, yeah, no, well, the, the question about the interview is we work very hard to make sure we don't miss a diamond in the rough. And every student is given every opportunity to succeed in this business. Um, it's not a simple process, it's not a numerical process. I often get asked by faculty, don't you just pick the people that have four point grade point averages? And they're a little startled when I say no, as a matter of fact, that tends not to be what we're interested in. We're interested in the statement by the student or the statement by the professors that are references that show creativity.